out here talking Jonathan's. This is one of the original American commercial apples. Um, originates in New York State, early 1800s. It's a uh, seedling from a Spitzenberg apple, which is Thomas Jefferson, or rumored to be Thomas Jefferson's favorite apple, at least by people who are trying to sell you Spitzenberg. This apple um, has kind of lost favor in recent years. I think it's due to its uh, texture. It doesn't have that crisp crunchiness that uh, American consumers seem to have uh, shifted towards, but it is an absolutely excellent apple. It uh, has sweetness, but a lot of acid to balance that out, a lot of acid for making, uh, for pie making, and uh, for cider making. This is what gives our cider a lot of its bite. Most of our tart uh, that we blend into our apple cider comes from the juice of these Jonathan apples. Um, small to medium size apple, like I said, they don't have the crispy crunchiness of a honey crisp or anything like that but they do have a nice amount of juice and um, a good amount of acid to balance out the sweetness that's in there this one's perfectly ripe Jonathan's often thought of as a tart apple it is but it does have a lot of uh, sugar in it it's just it's got that nice acid to uh, kind of cut through that so it's not that sweet sweet of like a gala or something like that um, this makes it excellent in pies and cider and all sorts of processing and baking. And if you like uh, tart apple, it's great just right out of the hand. Jonathan's also interesting in that it's uh, been an important parent to a lot of apples um, available today. Jonna Free that we talked about earlier, Jonna Gold, Jonna Mac, Jonna Dell, Ida Red. It's had a great impact just beyond planting out a Jonathan apple. It's been used extensively in breeding programs to try to uh, share its excellent juice and tartness with other apple varieties.